This first part of your week, I ask you to think about your priorities. Let me tell you a story. There was a Sufi master who was ferrying a scholar across a rough piece of water when he said something that was ungrammatical. He said, have you never studied grammar? Asked the scholar. No, replied the master. Then you have wasted half your life. A few minutes later, the Sufi master asked the scholar if he had ever learned to swim. And the scholar said he had not. Then you have wasted all your life, said the master. We are sinking. There are times when we must give priority to the pursuits that can be put to practical use. When we think of obtaining some of our cherished goals, it immediately becomes evident that we establish some priorities in our life. A person may have as his goal a goal of establishing a small business. And this is something that he or she has always wanted to do. It will take a few years to do it right, but they decide right now they're going to do this. And then that afternoon, this is a true story, by the way, they attend a boat show, and they see this boat that they really, really want, and they're thinking about buying the boat. Well, some people will buy the boat, foregoing the dream that they have of a big, wonderful success in their life, and uh, others will make the right choice. They will forego the material possession in order to save money for their business. They must constantly establish and then reestablish their priorities. But no one ever loses if he or she gives up a few present pleasures in order to save and move closer to a more cherished goal. So today and at the beginning of this week, I ask you to write down what your priorities are for your life and follow them, establish them, and then reestablish daily you'll find that your life becomes sweeter and sweeter as you do.